there's like a light spot just there. Um, there was quite a light spot here. I spotted it last night. But the ceiling is, I mean, in my, in my perfectionist eyes, is looking a bit patchy in places. So I think that's because the silk probably hasn't had enough coverage from the matte paint. Because um, there's another shot, I put a post-it there where that shiny spot is. Um, but yeah, look, there's, an, there's another one there now that I've spotted in natural light. So definitely needs another coat. Four coats of paint on the ceiling. One coat of matte, one coat of silk, two coats of matte. Hopefully that's going to get rid of the shininess now. Um, it should do the trick. Uh, and I've just had a brainwave actually, because I was going to move the furniture back in here and paint that room. But actually, leave the furniture there, uh, paint this room, move furniture back in, paint that room. Job done, and then I'll do all the skirtings afterwards. Brilliant. Now here goes the first coat of matte paint on the walls. Happy days. For those who are interested, the colour I'm using is rock salt. Mat for walls and ceilings, easy care, washable and tough. It's a bit more expensive than the regular paint uh, because it's washable, but it does look really nice. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, just need it to dry out. I'm going to do some more cutting in around the top, cutting in around the bottom and all around the plug sockets and everywhere, tidy up around the radiators, etc. This afternoon. And then I'll be ready to repaint the skirting. That'll probably be the very last job that I do now, the skirting boards and door frames. Um, although I might have to do this door frame. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again because then I can cut in. So I might do that next because then that can dry out. It'll take two hours to dry. But it's coming up for one o'clock as the clock says over there. So it is time for... <coughs> Advent calendar, soup, advent calendar. It's soup advent calendar time, yes. Which one shall I pick today? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for that one at the front there. It's not looking like a tree much anymore, but this is the chosen one. Let's take it downstairs and see what's in it. Here we go, day five of the soup advent calendar. Oh, dear. <laughs> this looks like vegetable soup again. Uh, have a look. Yeah, that is suspicious. Where are all the nice chickeny ones and mushroom ones? I don't believe this. I did mix them up. Let's put that on the uh, hob and do the big reveal. So what brand or type of vegetable soup is it? And it is Bramwell's vegetable soup. Pour it in. Hey Siri, we're going to use it down to 10%. Thank you, I can't hear myself think. Is this your favourite? Is this your favourite? Petal, is this your favourite food? Hang on. Move things around a bit. Yeah, a bit of tuna for you. I am finished for the day. I am pooped. Uh, it's just coming up to six o'clock. Petal Pops is having her favourite treat of the week, her tuna in a sachet. Uh, and I'm gonna go up the shops and treat myself to some beer and then come back and just chill out in front of the TV. Um, yeah, productive day. Most of the walls, I don't know if you can see behind me, most of the walls, I've had one coat of paint now, so, um, and the ceiling's looking good now. All the shiny bits are gone, and the patches, etc. So I'm pleased with that. Um, so tomorrow, I'm gonna have a day off. Day off painting tomorrow, Sunday, 
rest day as far as I'm concerned because I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week to finish off any bits but I'm hoping to have it all done by Monday. So right, I'm going to go out the shop, get myself some beers and then I'm going to come back and cook myself some burgers. Back from the shops, football's on. West Ham v Man United and West Ham are winning at the moment so that could be a big result for them. Um, yeah, so I'm back from the shops. Something weird happened. I went out to the shops with my bag, bought some beer, and as I was walking along, one of the bottles fell out of the bag, and the bag started to split. And before I knew it, there was a big split in the bag, and I thought I had four bottles of beer to carry, so I just had to carry them in my arms, like a beer beer. Anyway, so I've got my beers, and it's burger night as well, so it's Saturday night burger. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Dear. I think that is uh, miss, well, not missing the season, but just, I don't know really. Anyway, yeah, so I've got myself some beers. Um, yeah, and, and the bag split. Really split. So uh, I just think it's been in the bag pile for such a long time that it's just degenerated. Started to bio. Actually, maybe it is a biodegradable bag. It's a biodegradable bag, hence why. It started to split. So this is my beer hall. I might have to leave that one to last because that's the one that fell on the floor. Uh, so I've got an Elvis juice, a Punk IPA, a Camden Pale, because I like that, but I like the red one actually. And a Goose IPA because that reminds me of Florida, being in Florida, etc, etc. Saturday Night Burger. Okay, this is Roseville. Uh, which was already ground and I just bought it ground um, and I've added panko to it nothing else just panko um, so those are my burger patties homemade um, bit of an odd thing having vegan mayo with beef but I only have vegan mayo in the house um, apricot cheese this is red onions which I'm pickling in red wine vinegar, the tomatoes and the gherkelins and obviously the brioche buns which I'll toast on the toaster. I'll chuck some lettuce in as well but that's just in the fridge. So that is my Saturday night burger meal. I'll be intrigued to see what these taste like. I was going to oven them but I think I'm going to pan fry them. You have to have presents. Something different. We're going to go back to the Premier League or take our chances elsewhere. 